Well, it's the perfect time to enjoy a good book on a beautiful summer day, whether you're a child, young adult, or adult. In today's page turners, there's a good story waiting for you to explore at the Tuscola Public Library. Director Devin Black is here. So these are all new books to the library. What is their theme today? Uh, they're all kind of historical fiction. They're all made up stories, uh, but they all have, you know, a basis in history. Well, let's start over here because I'm guessing this one's for the adults. Yes. Um, it's it's kind of one of those detective mysteries, and uh, it takes place right as the Battle of Britain, as they were bombing Britain in World War II, uh, and uh, that's kind of its function. The American the Agent. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Oh. Er Sorry. Jacqueline Winspear, The American Agent. My bad. Yeah, it's a series with a character named Maisie Dobbs, so it's a long series. So there's okay. a lot of books if you like that kind of thing. It's always fun to get a series that you really enjoy so then you can look forward to the next book coming out. Mm -hmm. Then I see Alexander Hamilton on the back who is, oh my word, huge right now. What is this book? Well, so strangely, uh, the Hamilton craze even hit young adult books and stuff. And so it's like the romance between Alexander Hamilton and Elizabeth Schuyler. So this one's geared more towards our young adult readers. Yeah, is that it's, right? it's geared towards young adult, and this is also a series. This is the third, and it should be the final book in the series. Oh, okay. And then waiting for the Biblio Burrow for our youngsters. So this is a, a, a story about a girl named Anna who can't. Uh, it only has one book and can't have any other books to read because she lives in a small town until Biblio Burrow comes to town, <laughs> which is a librarian who rides a donkey. And uh, well, and he has a bunch of books and, and takes him to different rural parts of Columbia. That's so cute. Also based on a true story. Really? Yeah. So it's not historical fiction. That's like historical well, nonfiction. The, 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 the Anna, the girl part is, is, is fiction, but the Biblioboro really did exist. Oh, I follow. I got you. So lots of um, libraries around Central Illinois kicking off their summer reading program. So how's yours going? Oh, we're just smack dab in the middle of it right now. Yeah? Oh, yeah. So I also, something interesting I heard on the radio this week, and let's see what you think about it. I know I'm just kind of surprising you with this fun fact, but it was 24% of American adults say they have not read a book in part, whole, print, electronically, or even audibly in the past year. What do you attest that to? Well, I don't know if I could figure that out, but I do know that millennials, people my age and a little bit younger, tend to have read more books at the age that we are now than previous generations have, so maybe that needle will tick to upwards huh. a little bit. And maybe if they could read books like these, <laughs> they may feel inspired to, to open up a book. Oh, we have books for all kinds of tastes, so yeah. Yeah, and that's where, where Devin comes in. I also want to mention coming up on the 17th of next month, Water Fun Day. That sounds fun. What happens there? Uh, basically, we have a whole bunch of water-based games on outside, never inside. Uh, <laughs> Aw, nuts. <laughs> you know, there'll be a little pool of water, and there's like, you know, fishing for different things. We've got water guns and water paint and stuff usually. And, so and make all kinds sure... Of things. You come dressed in something that can get wet. Yeah, always make sure you can dress for, for getting wet and then don't shoot any librarians with the water guns <laughs> except me. It's always okay to shoot me with water guns, but I shoot back. So. Oh, so just you've been warned. And then also coming up on the 19th, so that same weekend, outdoor movie night. Yeah, we're showing Wonder Park, and uh, that's going to be at uh, 7 p.m. We'll start and we'll have a bunch of games outside, and then when it gets dark enough, we'll show the movie. Okay, well, it sounds like a great summer happening there at the Tuscola Public Library. Any of these books are on your uh, must-read list? Actually, I really want to get into the Alex and Eliza trilogy, the Alexander Hamilton ones. I have not read them yet, but that's kind of my alley, I think. All right, just something to add to your list there, and um, thank you, Devin, so much. Thanks for having me. It's a great time to check out your local public libraries. We'll connect you with the Tuscola Public Library over on our Facebook page. Coming up, storyteller Erin Belly, she's coming back, but this time she's going to take over the skies of central Illinois to help with the crops. Why, this is one adventure not to miss. And then we're going to head to the CIK Kitchen. We've got a cool recipe to make for a hot summer day. Your family's going to love this dessert coming up.